Welcome to another episode, everybody. I'm Kobe Mercury Clark, uh, photographer, and this is going to be a different video. I know most Pentax people don't shoot video. It's going to be a video about video on a Pentax camera. Am I crazy? What am I doing? Anyway, I've been going through the video options with the K3 Mark III, and I just wanted to actually do a video focusing solely on the video elements of the Pentax K3 Mark III. It's not as bad as people would actually think. Uh, right now I'm recording with the 55-300 PLM lens and I am shooting in 1080-60p. Uh, you know, as for the autofocus, I mean, it's not that bad. As long as you don't make very sudden movements, it's actually, it, it is usable. It actually is usable, surprisingly. Um, the image stabilization built in uh, with the body stabilization IBIS uh, actually does work remarkably well. I'll show you that after. And uh, yeah, I'm just gonna, so right now it's 1080, 60p. I'm gonna switch over to 4K and it's basically gonna be a showcasing of just shooting video with the K3 Mark III. It's really not that bad. I might actually do more of it. The one thing I did notice though, is the camera does get very, very hot along the bottom plate. Okay, so right now, uh, shooting in 4K 30, and uh, all I'm gonna do is just basically just do some uh, scenic video of the lake and maybe some birds and see how that goes. I am not a live view shooter, so in regards to tracking birds and stuff, I won't be very good. But other than that, let's see how it turns out. So, so far it doesn't seem to be too, too bad. Let's see what's over here. Across, now I am doing this on a tripod using my hands. Let's see if it can focus. No. Oh, there we go. It took a little bit. Let's zoom out here. Not too, too bad. It's usable. I think it's more than usable, actually. Like I said, I am not a live view shooter. It's very hard for me to line things up if I'm not using the viewfinder. But we're getting there. And look what just showed up. Beautiful heron. Like I said, I am not a live view shooter. I'm not very good at that at all. But overall, this isn't too bad. I can't complain. So here you can see I was completely shooting with shake reduction off and you can actually see how jittery the actual footage is. Um, it's extremely shaky uh, and from here uh, you know I just did this one quick section here just to show how absolutely crazy it is uh, shaking around when you're doing handheld video again this is in full 4k and from here I switched the shake reduction on and uh, continued along my path back to my car so here is how smooth it actually is when you're shooting in uh, sorry, with shake reduction actually on. It is a pretty remarkable difference. Uh, I mean, it, it, it's not going to make it completely and utterly smooth, but it does actually make a viable difference. And then when I got home, I redid a couple of shots uh, just standing in the same spot, doing the same thing in regards to having the shake reduction on and off. So I wanted to do back to back so you could see clearly 
the differences that it actually does make shooting both with shake reduction on and with shake reduction off. Because there have been people who have said that the shake reduction itself doesn't really do much, it's not very good, but at the same time, I wanted to do an actual back-to-back -back, because sometimes that's the absolute best way to showcase what it really translates into. So I hope this uh, I hope this shows enough uh, where you know it, it makes a bit more sense as to the shake reduction being on or off. And that's really all there is to it. Pentax video in 4K with the K3 Mark III. It's actually not all that bad. Um, you know, I mean, it's not a dedicated video style camera, but as an all-rounder with 4K capability now, it's actually usable video footage that's, you can actually use it. Uh, you know, it's a totally different skill than photography, but it's, there's no reason that you shouldn't use the video, at least to me anyway. Anyways, if you like the video, leave a like. If you haven't already, please do subscribe. Helps me out. If you'd like to support the channel, I'll leave that information at the bottom of the description. And if you have any questions or comments, leave them down below and you will see me on my next video. I'm out.